hello this is your girl black cajun and today's uh tutorial is not inside of our silhouette design studio rather it's inside i'm using inkscape rather um the reason i'm using inkscape is because it can do a lot more things than a silhouette can you can do a, a more manipulations to images you can take two images and you know bring them into inkscape and change them all the way around to a totally different image uh and it just makes ease it just make it easier uh for you to design if you're serious about uh creating a small business out of your crafting you need inkscape inkscape is kind of similar to illustrator uh but it's free hopefully it'll stay free i noticed that they have been asking for donations lately which means they may start charging so you should get in <laughs> while it's still free uh for those of you who do not have inkscape i do have a link inside of the description box for you to download um so in this tutorial i am actually doing i'm going to use mickey mickey a mini mini mouse uh let me show you how to get my images let's go to google and i just search for coloring pages because they're easier to manipulate uh who do I want, Mickey or Minnie? Hmm. Doesn't really matter since it's just a tutorial. So I'll just get this Mickey. And no, I don't want him. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll just get him. Make it easier. So instead of saving, I'm just going to copy the image because you can just copy and paste this into Inkscape. So I'm going to paste them in. I'm just going to adjust them. I don't know why, but I just tend to like to enlarge him, my images. So I'm going to go to Path, Trace Bitmap. Ooh, look at Mickey. I like to have smooth and stacked scans deselected and have removed background and live. And the only thing I'm going to mess with is this threshold for the brightness cutoff. If you go, if you push the up button, you'll notice that it starts getting darker. Uh, can't really see it, but let me start going below. The threshold is 0.45. So let me go below the threshold. And if you hit that reset, it's going to put the stack scans and stuff back on. So you just remove the check from the unwanted portions. And I don't know why it's not removing it. Oh, there you go. And so I'm going to go below threshold so you can see it's going to, it should start lightening up. See? <laughs> until it actually disappear so I'm just gonna reset it back to the default and what I like to do is it look like it's some broken lines in here but I'm not quite sure because it's such a small window so I'm just gonna go above the threshold just a bit just to make sure these lines are are connected let me hit ok and it looks as if nothing happened but a copy of it is sitting right on top and how you can tell which one is the original and which one is the copy you can look down here if you click it this says image and this one when you click this one it says select an image to trace so if it was an image it would say image so while I have the trace selected, I am going to go back to path and I'm hit break apart. 
and it took everything apart which is what I want so I'm going to go to edit paths by node and the reason I did this so when I run my mouse over the different portions it can it, it'll let me know what I'm working with so Mickey I'm gonna select I'm hold on it uh -oh. hold down the control but what did I do okay let me get off that okay I'm select I want the glove so I'm I'm gonna just move my mouse. What? Okay, I have to backspace because I don't know what that did. Okay, so I'm gonna take my mouse and just roll it till that glove is highlighted, and then I'm gonna click and I'm gonna hold down the control button and do the same thing for this glove. Oh, shift button, my bad. And then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna hit white because I want his gloves white his shorts we'll call this Mickey shorts red I think so but I mean it's art if you want his shorts to be purple you can turn to purple I'm just trying to make it as simplistic uh, as simple as I can then I'm gonna hit uh, This one's kind of hard. Okay, there you go. I think that part is yellow. And then I'm going to grab the feet. And I think the feet... Okay, Mommy. I think the feet red as well. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to grab his face. And try to get... I don't think Mickey's that dark, but... Okay, I think that's Mickey. But as you can see, it's not complete. His eyes aren't complete, so I'm going to have to go in and grab that outer portion of his eyes. And you just have to to play around inside the and do different. Uh, I'll do this one by itself. Do different images and play around with it. So you, and then once you get used to it, it's not going to be that hard to find the pieces that need to be colored so there we have it we have mickey all colored in and like i said if you want his shorts purple you could just you could use whatever colors you want you can use your creativity to change mickey up if you want to um i'm going to hold down the control no i'm not going to do that i don't feel like doing it what i'm going to do is get rid of the actual picture that i brought into the design studio and I'm gonna grab all of this hopefully I got all of it okay and move it over here and what I'm gonna do is save it I'm gonna save file save as and I'm gonna change the type from Inkscape SVG to plain SVG and let me type Mickey waving so I can know the difference between them. Uh, and then hit save. It's going to save as an SVG file that you can open in your design studio. So you can create things in Inkscape and then use it in your silhouette design studio. And I believe Cricut as well, but I'm not sure because I am not a Cricut user. But you can use it inside of the silhouette and cut it by color for your project for your t-shirt or uh centerpieces for parties or whatever and what i like to do because i do not have i have the basic i got the the design studio that came with the cutter i have not upgraded so if i'm making something from a friend or someone i'll save it as a plain svg however for myself because i have not decided to upgrade I'm going to go back and hit save as and the name is going to still be there but I'm going to come down to this save type window and I'm going to go to DXF De desktop cutting plotter and hit save 
Then let me hit OK. And now I can actually use the uh, design that I've done in uh, what I've traced inside of Inkscape in mind with so you can use it with or without uh, with what is this uh, it's saved this is actually saved but you can use it with or without the designer edition or the professional business edition or whatever the different names are because like I said I don't have but the the version that came with the cutter and so far so good I'm I, I don't do rhinestones once I start getting into rhinestones then you know maybe I'll uh, upgrade but right now I, I, I have no need to upgrade uh, I do everything and I run a pretty decent uh, custom design custom uh, t-shirts and accessories business without having to upgrade so i hope you guys uh found this tutorial uh helpful and useful and i would love to see what you guys do uh how you what you create in inkscape don't forget i do have a link to download e inkscape in the description so uh happy crafting <laughs> y'all have a good day be blessed